Hi everyone, it's Officer Coburn. I thank you for joining me in how to install um, GTA 4 road textures and, G and GTA 4 regular vehicle textures. So first what you need to do is you need to head over to openiv.com and you also need to head over to foreshared.com. I'll have both of these websites in the description with the download. So first what you need to do is you need to go to openiv and you need to click download and wait for it to pop up. Then you want to, once you um download it um you need to open it. I'm just gonna let it download real quick. I already have it, but whatever. Alright, and once you open it you wanna click run and wait for it to prepare for necessary files. Um then you, you pick your language, continue um accept continue um uh create a desktop icon or pin to taskbar taskbar is this thing right here just do whatever you'd like i do desktop um c continue and then you install i'm not going to install cuz i already have it um then you go to for shared and you click download for this road textures um and then then what you need to do is you need to go over to computer OS um, hard drive program files Steam if you have um, disk game you need to go to Rockstar and you need to go to Steam apps if you have virtual Steam game common uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 GTA 4 you need to head to PC data uh, CDI images and then you want to find your road texture mod uh, I typed and said rad texture, okay. Road texture. There we go. Once you find it, you want to click on it and then just drag. Okay, wait a minute. Yep, then you want to just drag this into there. I just made sure I was doing it correctly, I didn't mess up your guys' game. Um, and after you do that, you need to make sure that your uh, computer can run it. So. Before you play the game, you need to make sure that your computer is able to run it. Uh, I don't know what this is. But after you've done that and you've installed OpenIV, you now have road textures. And if you want to install vehicle textures, you just need to um, run OpenIV. You need to go to, uh, it'll be already, it should be already in game. Then you need to go to models, um, CDI images, then you need to go to uh, vehicles. Um, this is the same process for um, gun textures also. So then what you need to do is you need to go to... Uh, where is it? I had a vehicle mod that needed a texture. Oh, this is my um, Dodge Ram model that I used in one episode. As you can see, if you watch the episode, it has a totally different... Um, texture, which is why I changed it. I don't really like it that much. Um, no offense to the maker if you're watching, which I highly don't think so. So, um, first what you need to do, um, you need to click on edit, uh, yes, and you need to, uh, where is it? Uh, I'll get back with you when I find it takes a while. Um, Alright everyone, so what you need to do first, um, I had to find it real quick, you go to uh, the WTD file, you go into edit mode, then you right click and you go to edit. Then you click on import and you find the uh, texture that you want wherever you uh, saved it. Um, I'm going to use RAM sign, which is the Border Patrol texture. So you just click on it, um, just click uh, check that. I'm going to click OK. And now it should be uh, Border Patrol. If I save it. Alright, now let's look at it. No, not that. This. Please be. Yes, now it's Border Patrol. So that's how you do vehicle textures, and it will be like that in the game. 
will look just like this, except it'll actually have wheels. <laughs> so that's how you do vehicle textures. I hope that helped you out um, a lot. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.